So why would you want to use our app? Or more importantly, why would the fitness enthusiast, our target audience, want the app? What is its appeal? While you can find a plethora of workout programs all across the internet, our app will compile a wide range of these programs all in one easily accessible place. A unique addition to our app is that it will also be doing some of the mindless calculations required for these routines, using your one rep max to determine the weight for every set, making working out easier. In addition to the exercise, we also plan to include various diet plans, from keto to vegan, among others. And finally, our forum portion will allow our users to communicate with other fitness-minded individuals also using the app. The monetization plan for our app is fairly basic. The app itself will be available to download and use for free on the App Store. We keep the app free so that we can have as many people as possible trying out our application. In the future, if there's significant user interest, we might consider raising the price of the application accordingly. The free version of our app will have advertisements as the main mechanism of generating money. However, there will be an option for users to pay a few dollars in order to permanently remove advertisements from the app. This option is targeted towards those users who use our app frequently, even daily. In the future, we might also consider creating a membership program under which users would pay a monthly fee in order to access more useful features than they would normally get from the base app. We would only consider this option if our app becomes very popular. For our project, we decided to use the mean stack for the web application. This is made up of MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node. MongoDB is a NoSQL database, which allows for more flexibility in speed. Express is the server-side application framework, and Node allows for the server-side code execution. Angular is the client-side application framework, and in Angular is where we made the UI for the website. Everything on the stack is in JavaScript, which simplifies things for us, and is also relatively new and has a lot of resources available to help us. We use several other technologies to complete this project, one of which is Adobe XD. Using a wireframe to create prototypes allowed us to visually experiment with what we want the UI to look like. Adobe XD has features to simulate buttons or touch clicking, dragging, connecting different screens and more to allow us to test out which functionalities are best for the end user. Once we have a visualization of what we want the product to look like, we get an idea of how the program should be designed and what we need to include in the program. We also get a sense of what buttons, menus, and graphs we'll include in each page. Overall, prototyping in Adobe XD facilitates the design and coding process. For the mobile component, we'll be using Flutter, which is an open source development kit made by Google. It's used to develop applications for different mobile platforms and operating systems. Flutter uses the language Dart, which can also be used on server and web application programs. Dart is an object-oriented, class-based language with C-style syntax. All right, so this is our use case diagram for our app and website, and it includes a couple of different functionalities. Um, first off, we have our sign-in functionality, where a user will input their credentials, and then we will verify these credentials with um, our database to make sure that they match and that they exist. Um, next is our sign-up, where a user who is not in our database will give us his credentials and we will hash them for security and store them in our database. Um, next, we have some of our more specific features, such as creating a custom workout program. We would then have this program be stored in the database so that a user could access in the future. Um, uh, going off of that, we also have our custom diet programs where we would just store these in the database and the user could access it again in the future. Then we have our tracking steps and weight, where our user could store these in the database and access and compare his weight and steps with time. And last but not least, we also give user access to pre-made diet and workout programs, but these do not require us access in the database. And that's it for our use case diagram. 
Here we have the Entity Relationship Diagram, or the ERD, which consists of five tables. The User, Profile, Workout, Meal, and the Program tables. So the User table, which has the User ID field, connects to the Profile table, which connects to the foreign key of the profile name. And then the separate fields in the Profile table, the Workout Plans, Progress, and Programs fields, they have their own tables associated with the fields. So Workout has its has the workout ID, workout name, workout details, workout instructions, meal has a meal ID, meal name, and meal details, and the program table has the program ID, program name, and program details. So these three tables separately have their own primary key and foreign key to connect them appropriately to the profile table, which then connects back to the user table all in one piece. The way we decided to organize our tasks for this project was through a Gantt chart. We started by assigning everyone's roles based off their interests with the project. Most of them will be initially working on the website and database, while the rest work on the front end of the application. Once the rest of the team finishes the database, front end, and website, they will start creating the APIs. The front end and website will be finished early on, but will always be polishing them while the APIs are being worked on. The reason why each function will be attacked one after the other is that the functions within each page are similar meaning that we would not want to have multiple people creating the same APIs for different pages. And the presentation will be worked on on the end of the project.